Hello there everybody, Brent here with another tech tip video. Today is that time again, it's time to do that oil change on that outboard motor. Today we're going to be working on my 8 horsepower Mercury. It is a 2005 F8 ML, okay? So that is an 8 horsepower 4 stroke and we're going to be using some 25W40. We're going to need a 16 mil to bust this uh, bolt right here. And at the same time, we're going to need an oil pan right there. And I like to keep it at this angle. That way, it won't drip down the whole leg. It'll just drip right here. So we're going to want to crack that, hold that thing up, and place it down let it drain. And uh, a little note as well, I ran it for about 15-20 minutes just to get that oil warmed up. And uh, aside from that, you're gonna need a couple of rags, some gloves, and a funnel. So without further ado, let's get to work. Okay guys, I forgot to note that uh, you also need a drained gasket. So we're gonna be replacing that gasket that comes right behind this bolt. So let's go ahead and crack it. Okay. So we're gonna lift up our drain pan. There it is. Look at all that black goo. So there it is guys, it's just dripping away. As soon as you kind of have it figured out, you can bring it back down to the ground. And note it also takes the same as this uh, 115 horsepower, which we're gonna be trying out as well on the next video. There it is. Let's get that rag ready. Maybe let's turn it over. There you go, there's more stuff. I'm gonna flip it over just a bit so we get more of it out. There you go, more stuff out. So it's pretty easy, guys. This, this whole thing is probably only gonna take you about 15 minutes. Okay, let's go ahead and flip it over the other way since it's basically done. I'm gonna cap that off. Don't do it tight, guys. If you're forcing it, you did it wrong. There you go. Okay, there it is. Okay, so let's just wipe off the rest of the uh, drippings. Okay, so now let's put away our, oh, we got a little bit of a drip here. Let's put away the pan, put down the engine. Okay, it actually says right here, guys. So it says right here, 25W40. Capacity 800 milliliters or 27 US ounces. Let's open that up. Bust out our Mercury 25W40. Let's get our spot in there, make sure it's nice and clean. Let's go ahead and pour it out. It goes slowly here. Since it does not take much, so you can see quite a difference here. Look at this clear gold here. Okay, let's go ahead and pour that out. Okay, so we poured about, I don't know, 600 milliliters. Let's go double check our level. So the dipstick is located just on the starboard side. Okay, let's go get a rag so we can clean that up. Okay, let's pull that out. Okay, and then let's get that back in there. Okay, let's check it. Okay, so we're still not seeing anything down there, so we're gonna give it some more. Okay, okay so let's go ahead. Give it another go. Okay, pull it up. And there it is, guys. We're right on the money. Right there, right on that top line. Okay, so that's good. Let's get rid of this thing. Put it on our holder there and get this lid on. So, so we're gonna go warm it up and then we're gonna give it another measure. Let's get our water hooked up. Make sure our impeller is not dry. Okay, let's go ahead. We pumped our bulb 
pulled that choke out, bumped it a couple of times. Alright, there you guys have it guys. That is how easy it is. We're gonna go check it one last time. We're just gonna let it circulate a couple of times. Okay? All right, let's go check our level one more time before we call this job done. All right, pull this up. Give it a wipe. Put that in. Okay. Right there, guys. We are on the top of the level. And that means we're good. Look at how clean that oil is now. Okay. So there you guys have it. We are done. The oil change is complete. It is that simple. 15 minutes and a couple of tools in this video, you're all set. So don't forget to stay tuned for the next videos coming up. I'm going to be doing some more service work on the engines. So we got this 115 horsepower as well to take care of. But for now, we're focusing on this 8 horsepower. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, please do like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions at all. Look at the description for links. See you guys on the next video.